three success principles na natutunan ko sa buhay. And let me share three stories, three relevant stories sa buhay ko na uh, nagpatunay sa akin na ito pala yung mga prinsipyo ng buhay. Alright? So, magandang hapon sa lahat ng mga natin. And this is the first time po tayo mapanood sa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, click na po yan, Doc. GG so, alright. So, ayos lang po natin. Okay. Alright, so, let me start with this one story. When I was in grade 6, graduation namin, uh, that time, uh, bago kami mag-graduate, so, meron kami project that's practical arts. So, hello sa lahat ng mga subject, no, eh, practical arts. So, nagkakagawa kami ng walis sa dustpan. So, gawa-gawa walis sa dustpan. Then, dumating yung professor, teacher namin, teacher, sabi niya, alam mo, hindi, siguro hindi siya nasihan sa mga ginawa namin walis at dustpan. So, sabi niya, hindi niyo pinagbubuti yung paggawa ng walis at dustpan na guides eh. Sorry. Because, pagdating ng araw, eh, doon magiging trabaho nyo. Because, hindi lahat kayo makapag-college. So, sabi niya. So, nagbilang po siya ng anim. So, mula row 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alam niyo, row 2 pa lang siya, hindi na siya umabot sa row 3. Row 4, Nag-stop siya ng pagbiblang And I was in row 4 then So sa lahat ng mga row 4 Kasi letter S ako eh Di ba? A, B, C, D <laughs> Kawawa naman tayo mga letter, letter S, D Di ba? Mga dulo Nandun tayo sa row 4 Tabi na walis Das pa ni teacher Di ba? So I was there uh, the, Misa naisip ko rin siguro na Sana tinawag ako ni sir Pero hindi niya ako tinawag So sabi niya Anim lang sa inyo magka-college So I was not included Alright? So naisip ko nga naman Paano naman ako masasama talaga sa magka-college? Eh, mula letter A namin hanggang yung sinundan kong F. Hindi na college. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, F. Anim. Anim ang dumaan sa kanya. Di ba nung araw gano'n, teacher ng grade 6 ng pangani, hanggang sa punso, siya pa rin teacher nyo. So, anim na uh, kapatid ko ang nag-grade 6 na hindi nag-college. So, nung siguro na, napansin, napansin niya naman siguro ako, but I'm letter S sunga eto na may sensunga, hindi naman siya magka-college. So, si sir, that early, I was only grade 6, tinuldo ka niya na yung buhay ko. So, sinabi niya na hindi ka magka-college. So, that's negative mindset. Loser's mindset. Yung hindi pa nagsisimula ang laban, tinatalo ka na, talo ka na. Hindi pa naman niya nakikita eh, di ba? Ala pa naman, grade 6 pa lang, talo ka na agad. Alright? So, then came... When I was in uh, fourth year high school, another man saw me, sabi niya sa akin, instead of telling me na hindi ka magka-college, like my grade 6 teacher, ang sabi niya, kailangan mag-college ka. <laughs> kailangan mag-college ka. That was pastor. Pastor of Nirvana. Say pastor. Love you, pastor. <laughs> so, sabi niya sa akin, kailangan mag-college ka. So, tinulungan niya ako. We went to Manila, in Mandaluyong, with Pastor Gabino Tiga din. Uh, pina-interview niya ako while we were in Saulog sabi niya Saulog pa na yung sasakyan eh yan yeah, Saulog pa tao pantrang ko ganun rabbit hindi <laughs> ko mali ko so uh, sabi niya okay so practice kami what's your name ganun how old are you what do you want to study what course no practice kami ni Pastor para mabili sila akong sumagot para ma-impress si Pastor Gabino so I went there so na-interview naman tayo ng konti Pero, on our way to go home, pabalik na ng bataan, sabi niya, hindi ka na tanggap. So, parang nalungkot naman ako, so hindi ako natanggap si scholarship. Pero sabi niya, pero huwag kang mag-aaral. Huwag kang mag -aaral. Ako na yung magpaparal sa'yo. Then, he gave me 500 pesos. Sabi niya, mag-inroll ka sa BPSU, DLPM, may bagong college doon. So, I went there, 360 ang San Sam. Fully paid, ha? <laughs> so, 500, may school yung 4. 140. Binali ko sa akin. Sabi, Pastor, ito yung sulit. Pambili mo na ng notebook yan. Then, since then, every week, hindi niya ako 60, di ba? There was a time na uh, binigyan pa ako 100, tuping-tuping 100. Pastor, ako na tuping. Hindi mo ko sa wallet niya. <laughs> then, after that, so si ate ko na yung nagpaaral sa akin mula third year college hanggang sa PhD. So, two people, okay? Yung una, yung grade 6 teacher ko, nakita niya yung mga problems, nakita niya obstacles, nakita niya hindi ko kaya, negative mindset, mindset, loser's mindset. So, ang second, si pastor, nakita niya yung possibility, opportunity, na pwede, posible, winner's mindset. So, the first, right? The first principle of success is you should have a winner's mindset, not a loser's mindset. Because a winner's mindset, hindi pa nagsisimula ang laban, nananalo ka na. Nakikita niya na 
ang opportunity. Nakikita niya may opportunity. Yeah, may problema, yes. May mga obstacles, yes. Pero nakikita ang nakita ni Pastor, opportunity. Yung nakita nung teacher ko nung grade 6 ay problems. Walang chance, walang hope. Diyan ka nalang magtindra, walis at dustpan. Had I listened to him, so baka marami na akong nabentang walis at dustpan ngayon. Pero salamat kay Pastor because of that winner's mindset. It's just like the mindset of a lion. I heard it from Dr. Miles. Di ba, lion? Uh, hindi po siya yung... Ang tao sa kanya, king. Di ba? Lion king. But do you know that lion is not the fastest animal? Lion is not the wisest animal? Lion is not the biggest animal? And lion is not the heaviest animal? Pero ang tawag sa lion, king. Because of the mindset of lion. Pag ang lion po lumabas siya sa jungle, nakita yung different types of animals. Isipin niya agad, I have lunch. Winner's mindset. Hindi pa sila naglalaban ng different animals, panalo ng lion. At yung mga animals naman na nasa paligid niya, pag nakita ang lion, sasabihin nila sa sarili nila, the lion will eat me. Loser's mindset. Hindi pa sila naglalaban, talo na sila eh. Di ba? Paano sila magtatagumpay sa buhay? Natalo na sila agad ng lion, di pa naman nag-start ang laban. Si lion, panalo na. Hindi pa nagsisimula ang laban. So if you want to become successful, adapt the winner's mindset. Adapt the mindset of our pastor. That's the winner's mindset. May problema? Yes, but you can manage it. Nandiyan opportunity, you just have to recognize it. Okay? That's one principle na nagbigay sa akin ng susi para ako magtagumpay sa buhay. Yun yung passes ko, yun yung gate pass, na naging gate pass ko, yung mindset ni pastor, yung winner's mindset na kaya posible. Alright? Second principle ng success is, again, another story of my life. Okay, uh, when I was in college, I was in college, my low, I got two lowest grades. Actually, ako yung pinaka-lowest sa uh, batch namin. Sabi ko nga, if there is one black sheep of the box, uh, of our batch, ako siguro yun eh. Uh, because I was not that serious compared to my classmates. We were eight then. Eight kami magkakaklase. Uh, we were eight. And uh, ako talaga yung pinaka pala absent, volleyball, because I was a varsity, varsity player then. I'm a captain ball actually. Naglalaro tayo ng volleyball. Uh, dumadayo tayo sa iba't ibang barangay. Ang focus ko makapag-volleyball, hindi makapag-aral. <laughs> so, pero pumapasok naman ako. Alright. And then, uh, dumating yung point na, you know, I have two subjects. Uh, one is uh, technical writing. And that's my lowest grade in college. Technical writing. 2.75. Nearing to death. Malapit ng tres. Hindi ko lang kung na naawa lang si ma'am sa akin eh. Because, Paano ako mag, hindi magkakaroon ng 2.75? I can't, I can't perfect one paragraph. Mali pa nga spelling ko ng mga words. Pinagtatawa na ako sa akong kaklase. Di ba? O sulat ko pala, hindi na maintindihan ni ma'am eh. 2.75. Technical writing. I can write. Paulit-ulit ako nagsusulat. So, hindi ko ma-perfect ang isang paragraph. Then, my second lowest grade. 2.5. That's English. I think, uh, public speaking. Right? So, I can't speak in front of the class. Kahit na magkakaklase na kayo, magkakaibigan pa kami, takot na takot ako, hiyang hiyang ako magsalita. And that time, I still have to magkukompose ka pa ng ano mo eh, ng, uh, ng piece para ka mag-talk. So, naalala ko pa noon na fear death, death ata. Fear death, feel the fog on my throat and something like that. So, na-deliver ko naman. But I have a lowest grade, a very low grade, public speaking. 2.75. And... 2.5, right? But do you know that 2.75 did not define me. My grade in uh, technical writing, 2.75 did not define me. Because two years ago, three years ago, I launched my first book, How to Embrace Transformation. This one. I can perfect a paragraph. But after years, I was able to write my own book, How to Embrace Transformation. Right? That 2.75 did not define me. My second lowest grade, public speaking, I became a public speaker. And not just a public speaker, a rock star speaker. That 2.5 did not define me. So the second principle of success is your past, including your grades, don't define you. Good grades can give you a good start, but it can't define you. Because in the process, you can change your life. You can improve yourself. After many years, I was improving English, and this is the evidence. 
And after a few years, I was improved my public speaking skill. And that's the evidence. I'm a rock star speaker. And now I'm doing coaching. I'm doing uh, mentoring on those who want to become speaker. Isn't that amazing and iron? That girl that hindi makapagsalita in front of the class is now a public speaker. And I'm training people who wants to become a public speaker. Okay? So, that's the second principle. Your past don't define you. Whatever past you have, grades don't define you. Your failure in life don't define you. Diba? Sabi nga ni Jeff Bezos, just lean on the future, not on the past. Diba? Tumingin ka lang sa future, lumapit ka lang sa future, yun yun eh. Yung success nandyan sa future, wala sa past. So, why linger on the past? Diba? Why put your half of yourself, uh, 50% of your brain, thinking about the past, we're in. There is no success on the past. Failure, meron sa past, meron maraming failure. But in the future, there are many success. Maraming success na mangyayari in the future. So lean on the future because your past don't define you, especially your dreams. All right? Third principle, all right? Third principle uh, that I will share, okay? And uh, again, very sorry. When I was in my 20s, 30s, I wish I had a car. I wish I uh, I had many money <laughs> to go to different places, to drink Starbucks anytime I want, to have my investment, to have my own business, uh, to be a consultant, to uh, everything that you know, the fame, everything. But life teaches me this: it's not because you want it, life will give it to you. It's not because you need it, life will give it to you. Life will give you only what you deserve. I don't deserve car then. I don't deserve uh, enough money or more money. I don't deserve a business. I don't deserve an investment then when I was in 20 and 30. Because my life then was a mess. <laughs> Not serious. Okay? So, I don't have focus. I don't have goals then. So, why life will reward me? Alright? That's the third principle. Life will give you what you deserve. Right? I don't deserve those things. Why life will give me then? Gusto ko lang na magkakotse, but I don't deserve a car. Gusto ko lang maraming pera, but I don't deserve many money. Alright? So now, I deserve a car. Because I'm working so hard. I deserve money. I deserve business. I deserve investment. Because I'm, I'm learning new things. I'm focusing on my goals. I'm working so hard. 16 hours a day. 18 hours a day. So life is giving me what I deserve. I deserve a car, I have a car. I deserve more money, I have more money. I deserve, okay, the businesses I have, the ideas, my YouTube channel, everything. I deserve these things. That's why life is giving me this. That's the third principle of life. If you don't deserve it, life will not give it to you. So if you are not improving yourself, you are not working so hard, don't expect something from life. It will not give you anything. Right. So these are the three principles in life. The three principles in life that can help you now to realize that you know success has principles. It has formula. It has prerequisite. It has it. It doesn't happen the way you want it unless you're doing something. So number one, have a winner's mindset if you want to be successful. Second, your past don't define you. Just lean on the future. Right. And third. Life will only give you what you deserve. So, if you want success, if you want better life, work on it. Show that, show it to life that life, I deserve it. Alright? So, please share this video to anyone, to your friends, kahit OFW, din sa Pilipinas, para sama-sama tayong mabago at tumula na ating buhay. Alright, so thank you very much, Jilibers. Enjoy the rest of the day. And let's go, let's go.